Hi, this is John and we're doing the keystones again. This time it's question three, addressing the standard 11151. A polynomial expression is shown below. M x to the third plus three times the quantity 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 is equal to 8x to the fifth plus 20x to the fourth. The expression is simplified to 8x cubed plus 6x squared plus 15x plus 6. What is the value of m? Well, there's the slow way to do this and then there's the fast way to do this. I don't really want to go through the, the long way of doing this, so let's do this the fast way. Notice that there is something odd about this one in that we have this M that they want to figure out what this is. Now, we could take that M as any other variable and multiply this all out and try and subtract it and then solve for M. That would be a mistake they have no intention of you finishing this time in any, in any reasonable time by doing it that way. What you need to do is to realize that you are multiplying everything in this section by everything in this section and creating some kind of big long polynomial here and then subtracting this 8x to the fifth plus 20x to the fourth. But notice in our answer, the expression is simplified to, there is no x to the fifth or x to the fourth variables, which means that they disappear. This whole thing simplifies down to mx to the third plus 3 times 2x squared plus the rest of that nonsense equals some kind of 8x to the fifth because I'm going to be subtracting it from 8x to the fifth and making the whole thing disappear. And only x to the third times x squared is going to give you x to the fifth. This 3 is not part of the problem, neither is the 5x or the 2. It's the fifth that matters because it disappears. So, you ask yourself, well, what's going on here? If I've got mx to the third times 2x squared, and that's going to be equal to 8x to the fifth, well, that makes this problem trivial. Yes, it does. Because only 4 times 2 is going to give you 8 because x to the third times x squared is going to give you x to the fifth and that's what our final answer is. Our final answer is 4. Please do not do this any long way and multiply this out. That would be a mistake. 